coach after a couple losses uh, all over the weekend. Now we have a couple of games on the road. How important is it to respond and bounce back? Always important. You know, we had a couple winnable games here at home too, and um, unfortunately, you know, I think we didn't. We the fact is we went 0 2. Um, I thought we played some really good basketball. It's certainly not um, time for me as a coach or for our guys to hit that big red panic button and start trying to change a bunch of things. Um, probably two minutes away from beating Northern State, and uh, and probably five, four or five minutes start of the second half away from being in a really good battle with Minnesota State, who's a top 10 team in the country. So really happy with our progress and really disappointed that we lost because I thought that our players really fought their butts off, um, really competed hard, really executed well for the most most part. Um, so those both those losses definitely hurt, um, but it's something we have to bounce back from right away and, and got back to work yesterday a little bit, and we'll get back to work hard the next two days. and be prepared on Friday night. And tough road trip as they all are in this league, but um, that's part of why we're all here is because we knew what we're getting into. Really good teams um, in this league, night, to, or night in and night out. And two teams, I think, that are uh, 14 and three on their home court that will play this weekend. So um, it'll be another another tough road trip for us. Been much about either of the teams you're going to match as far as today. Yeah, Upper Iowa scored over 100 points in both their games last weekend. They went 2-0. and um, Can really score the basketball. And Winona State went 2-0 and last weekend and you know played a little bit slower pace and won both games in the 60s or 70s. So a um, little bit different style of, of teams, but both have four or five guys out on the court at all times that will shoot the basketball well. Um, so it'll be a... A little bit of a test of wills when we play Upper Iowa because they're going to try to play as fast as possible and we want to try to slow them down a little bit. Um, and then Winona State, uh, a little bit of a young team uh, from where they were used to being at, but a team that's been playing a lot better as of late and a team that's uh, going to play a lot of size more so than Upper Iowa. So a little bit different challenge both nights. Yeah, it's just been getting better since, um, you know, since he stepped foot on campus. A little bit of a setback early with being sick and missed the first two or three weeks of practice. And um, since then, it's really been getting better and better and put together a few good weeks of practice that have resulted in a, in a few good weeks of games. And, um, you know, the more, in some ways, the more you produce, the more you get to play in this in this game. And he's been producing well, and he's really been playing to his strengths, rebounding better, scoring the ball at a lot higher percentage, taking the right type of shots. So hopefully, you can continue to to improve like all our guys have. But been really happy with the steps he's taken. Really, probably the last month, um, and he's an important uh, piece to our team because he gives us a little versatility, a little size, and, a, and ability to score inside and outside. Um, and each of our guys kind of have their unique skill set um, that we need to work together to be successful. And he's done a good job of that the last couple of weeks. Uh, do you feel a lot more comfortable now having had uh, four games? Uh, obviously, it's a good playing time. Yeah, I think each week it gets a little more comfortable for me out there. And I just keep trying to work hard at practice every day and then get better. And then as I have a good week of practice, then it translates to the game and I feel more comfortable out there. I think just my like rebounding and effort on the court each week has gotten better and I think I can always work to improve that and then just taking the right shots during the game and then making those shots at a higher percentage each week. Yeah, this summer I tried to get in the weight room and put on a little weight because I knew it was going to be more physical coming into college. And then that was one of my bigger goals coming here is just trying to hit the weight room and put on weight so I could compete with the, the big men in this league. Any idea how much you put on? Not quite sure, actually, no. We were playing in the game the other night, and Coach uh, Radovoyevich was yelling at at Tyler to push somebody around a little bit. And Coach Nelson said, um, 
you're not strong enough to push him around yet. Next year, you'll be stronger than him. Um, but right now, you got to play smarter than him. <laughs> but uh, Rudy's definitely not a guy that's afraid to work in the weight room. He's got gotten stronger for sure from where he was last year. He'll keep getting stronger. Um, and that's been the one thing that's allowed him to really improve. And it might sound simple, but he's just tried to focus on making the game easier and doing what he does well and not not trying to do things that he's not capable of and he'll keep he'll keep finding ways to get better and better uh, for the rest of this year and uh, moving forward in the future. Thomas, you got minutes early on in your career and um, that sort of thing. How valuable is it kind of freshman year as far as just going forward for the rest of his career just getting some experience and out of Yeah, I think it's a big help, you know, getting minutes as a freshman. That way you get more and more comfortable, you know what to expect for years coming ahead. Sometimes you have to learn what you what you can't what you can't do either. Um, Thomas is a good example because he's uh, one of the most improved guys that I've coached from. You know, I've seen him for three years here, from expanding his abilities in, in a lot of different areas, um, become better off the balance, much better defender, and one of our most valuable team defenders right now. Um, he's always been able to shoot it, and you know, recently broke the all-time record for three-pointers made at Minot State. Um, and we all know that he can shoot it, but he's found ways to shoot it better um, and get his shot even once everybody else learned, out, learned that he could shoot it, I think. Um, and, you know, he puts in a ton of time. You guys probably see him here every time you come over shooting extra. So it's no coincidence that he keeps getting better. And um, he's – him and Everett and especially probably have really got to that point where – it's their senior year, and they really um, are playing with a sense of urgency every game. I think they're both having a great senior year right now. Um, and you don't really know what that feeling's like, I think, until you get to be a senior. You can try to tell other guys when you're a coach or when you're a player, but you don't really get that feeling until you're a senior. And um, I'm really proud of where he's at right now because he's just been leaving it all out there and um, fully invested. And it's been a good start, and we've got a lot of good basketball ahead. He's going to have a great finish of the season. And Scott, you've had some reliance on transfers. Yeah, it's great to have the consistency, you know, of guys that know what to expect. Um, they know what practice is going to be like. They know what a lot of the drills are going to be like. They know what the competition's like in games. They know what our game day schedule is. Um, they know um, what to expect from a coaching staff, from whether that's good or bad. Um, they know what I want, and they can explain that to other guys, and it's it's huge for our program to continue to have more guys that have been here and have players that have been in the program and can, as Tyler gets older, he can be on the forward end and talk to those guys and have similar experiences. And, and TK can talk to the guards and say, you know, I've been through it too. One one bad day or of practice doesn't mean um, that you're going to have a bad game on Friday or coach getting on you on Tuesday doesn't mean he's going to be mad at you on Wednesday or, you know, focusing in on personnel and a scouting report can help you tremendously in a game or whatever the ups and downs are that they've had they can share that with the younger guys it means a little bit more I think coming from a player than always coming from a coach and they can kind of sit in a little bit different setting um, and get the point across in a little bit different way and the more guys you have that have been in your program for a number of years that that trust you as a coach and have been through the ups and downs they can share that with their teammates really well and we're starting to get to that point um TK has been really good at it. He can sit and talk to just about every guy because he's been through about everything the last three years. Um, big wins, bad losses, disappointing losses, tough practices. Um, so he can relate to every guy and and he can lead that way. And, and Nate Mertens is starting to get to be the same way. So that's big for us as a coaching staff and for a team, I think. Just remind them to keep working hard, like in practice. Uh, we still have a long way to go for the rest of the season. 
but just keep getting better every day and keep playing together and stick to the program like follow what coach says do still stick to everything and don't like try and do it yourself play as a team I think that should take care of it do you see this team constantly progressing do you see the change in itself beginning yeah I think we're still getting better as a team I don't, we haven't played our best basketball yet uh, against Northern we played about 35 good minutes but we haven't played a full game of 40 good minutes and I think we can do that and I think that's what we're striving towards. Play the best basketball at the end of the season.